Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. When we last left off, we were aboard the Valor. We had some fun in the shooting range. And now, we have to disable a nuclear weapon. So, I've done a little bit of research. And apparently, we need to find 12 markers. Now, Ooh, <laughs> this place looks fun. Now, how many markers do we actually have? Oh, and also, I found there's a sort button. So you can uh, quick sort everything. Which is actually pretty nice, to be honest. Kind of a fan. Not... Ah, I see. Sort default, sort consumables... Sort valuables. Sort upgrades. Okay. Cool. Kind of like that, actually. Um, right. Key items. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have eight. We potentially could have had nine by now. But that's fine. Ah, right. We're basically out of ammo as well. Which is fun. Oh. I'm guessing this is where they unloaded the uh, pod. How about that? Ugh, there's a lot of intestines on the floor. <laughs> yum, yum. And we're just like fondling the bodies as we go. That's okay. That's standard dead space procedure. Right, well, this place looks like a big old death trap, doesn't it? Almost certainly a big old death trap. So let's get our sneak on and creep our way through here. Oh! Well, yeah, remember when I said about creeping our way through here? I guess that's not something that we can do. Oh, hi. Definitely don't want you unleashing all of your evil children. So you can have some flaming death. Who else? Oh, lovely. We got boomers. Oh, and little bastards. Boomers and little bastards. That's all right. We're just going to have to try and hold the line back as much as we can. Where's that little bastard gone? I saw him. I have no idea where he's gone. Oh, hey guys. That's fine. We're just gonna... Wow, this, like, fire perfectly contains them. Man, this, this weapon is OP. It's actually OP. Because... I didn't think they were going to get quite so hung up on it. But I'm not complaining. No, sir. I am not complaining. Oh, here comes a big mofo. That's alright. That's alright. Let's see if we can get around him. We should be able to. Fairly easily. These guys really are a joke. Really not sure why they made those things so weak. We are on like hard, remember? Alright. I can't remember actually uh, if these guys were tough in the original. I might have to look that back. Like, they're probably the easiest weapon. Uh, easiest weapon? Easiest enemy in the game. Just because, as long as you've got, like, some stasis ready to go, you're pretty good, you know? Other enemies are way more of a threat.
Now what's concerning me is we did have that little guy running around and I don't know where he's gone. But I'm sure he's dead. Because we would certainly know about it by now. Wow, Chen really made a mess of this place, didn't he? For sure, man. Some credits. We do like our credits. Look at this. Oh, man. I mean, it's definitely a cross-generation looking game, but it's, you know, very good looking. really is. Like, I think the lighting sells this game. It really is impressive. Wow, look all this stuff here. Like, we didn't need any of it. So we've got to go to the engine room. It wasn't just a new. They came loaded for war. You can destroy it. This was no patrol. They knew about the Ishimura. Someone knew. We were all dead from the moment we arrived. Well, that's unsettling. You mean the government knew about a wicked terrorist plot and sent a battleship to uh, sterilize the area? Ah, how about that? How about that indeed? Sorry, Hammond, but I guess in these sort of circumstances, we're expendable. And as much as that sucks, it, you know, yeah, given the gravity of the situation that we find ourselves in, uh, could you really blame the government for wanting to nuke the Ishimura? I mean, really, think about it for a second. Not really. Imagine if these uh, necros got to Earth and the unitards just let them all in. Can you see the problem? Pretty difficult to be pissed at EarthGov. And let's be honest, if they told you, would you really have wanted to come on this adventure? My guess is probably not. Alright getting a little bit low on flamer fuel but luckily we've got so much uh, ammunition for other weapons and we've got plenty of money as well so it's not much of an issue good lord looks like we have a Boop to beep. Which is fine. I'm like past 151 saves now. Good lord. I guess it just keeps going, huh? Uh oh. Ow, that hurts. That hurts. Now, we just gotta be as careful as we can. There we go. That works. More or less. Now, I don't know about this, guys. Uh, this doesn't look like it's safe. I'm going to be honest. Not getting that safety feeling. Money. What else we got here? Ooh, big bundle of money. Very nice. Okay. We can actually grab that from all the way over there. Nice. That's fine. Run past this. Definitely not health violation. I mean, who designed these ships? Seriously. It's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is because the ship is damaged. I hope this is because the ship is damaged. But we have seen evidence on the Ishimura that these ships are just lethal. 
So I don't know what to believe anymore. Run! Alright. Okay. This is gonna get uncomfortable, Isaac. I'm sorry, brother. But this is not gonna be fun. There we go. It's a good thing there's these perfect boxes here. Right, let's take you off and take you off. Because you can guess what's gonna happen. Let's turn the elevators on. Uh, let's keep the fire suppression system off for now. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Now that is how you sterilize the incursion. Wow, look at this engine. Like, it actually looks like an internal combustion engine of some description. But that can't be right, surely. I have no idea. Emergency fire suppression system. It's kind of cool watching all this stuff. I mean, what is that? 2v45s? Jesus. Anywho, let's extinguish the fire. And stay on our toes. Warning, stand clear of plasma exhaust whilst engine is running. Yeah, you... I mean, come on. That's... That, that, like... There's no way anything would ever be designed like that. I mean... Come on. I mean, I know we're in some kind of dystopian hell here, but... Jesus... Actually, I'm not 100% sure. Engine room access. Warning. Do not enter combustion chamber while engine is in operation. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still not buying it. Absolute lack of any kind of safety there whatsoever. And you imagine the heat that would be in this room. this engine man now if we were on some kind of ship I could buy this the fact we're on some futuristic spaceship nah chief I don't get it Unknown biohazard detected. Lockdown initiated. Uh. oh hey Anthea Shamora's in the red Someone get the door open. Jay? What did that thing do to you? Just shoot Don't him. Get him to the Kelly. Shoot him. Shoot him. What? Jay? No. You're what killed him. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't know, guys. That always just seemed like a bit of a pointless death to me. Right, now we have what we came for. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. This is bad. Well, Hammond. Yep, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, I can't remember how Hammond died in the original. Um, Primary systems failure. But I feel like they did him pretty dirty there. Because, you know, he's like some trained soldier. 
you would have thought he would have had a few more uh, brain cells. But having said that, influence of the marker and all that. Seize your glory! If you had a dirty mind, you could uh, look at that fist and put two and two together and come up with six. Something about seizing your morning glory. Am I right? Huh? Huh? No? Dick Drick's not funny anymore? Probably not. Right. Anywho. Wow. What you cooking, good looking? Man flesh, I'd imagine. Hey guys. Come on, that's enough of that. We can always buy more flamer fuel. Now, I'm pretty sure... Regardless of what it looks like here... There actually isn't any kind of time limit here. I mean, I guess we're going to find out together. Let's see what other sort of goodies. There has to be a lot of goodies here, surely. Might be worth switching weapons. I know this is supposed to be some kind of like heroic run. But I don't feel the need. I feel the need to explore the goodies instead. Oh, see? You see? This is why we explore for goodies. And that. Right, shame we can't actually get into the kitchen. I bet they're cooking up some good stuff behind there. Space steak. And space potatoes. Oh, hello. Any goodies behind here? Nope. No ruby semiconductors. Or anything like that. Doesn't look like it. Oh, someone survived. Run, man, run! Ooh. We could go to the barracks. We could do that. Or... We can have a little poke around and find nothing, I guess. Alright. That's unfortunate. Also, this game is not stuttering and sputtering like it used to. But I'm not aware of a patch. Oh, okay. Whoop. Any goodies? I'm here for the goodies. Now, who put that there, honestly? Any more of you fucktards want to try and ruin my day? You almost made it, my dude. Probably. Oh, wow. I say as there's like 250 stutters at once. Actually drop down to under 60 FPS then. On a 4080. Good lord. Well. I can hear people dying. And apparently the stars are ours. Let's go. Ooh. Fly, you fool! Fly! Well... That was an adventure. An adventure of legendary proportions. 
Fuck, that was close. Ten, Johnston, now Hammond. And I'm tracking movement from the Valor. I think some of those mutated soldiers made it on board. What about the Valor Singularity Corps? It's covered in blood, but I got it. God, I hope Hammond was right about that shuttle. He said it was on the crew deck, along with every unitologist on the ship and their marker. You need to... Wait, someone's opened the door near the bridge atrium? It'll get you to the crew deck, but who's left with that kind of clearance? Isaac, hmm. something's up, but we have to get that shuttle. For God's sake, be careful. We're all that's left. Ah, uh, well, definitely intending on being careful. We did get the marker that was over here, didn't we? End of days. Yeah, we did. So. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Wow, what a mess. That's alright. So much for the valor. Strange seeing a ship out here. As they said. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Kendra? No. Alright. I guess it's comforting to be back on board. Um, Let's get the force gun out. I feel like we've underutilized the force gun. We've done all that. We've done that. Knock knock, motherfucker. No? Anybody? No? Okay. Oof. And the horse we rode in on, eh? So we're going to the executive shuttle. Seems like a reasonable plan. Still some stutters when we open doors, but it's definitely not that bad. It's manageable. Significantly better. The only thing I've changed actually is I'm playing in um, Steam Big Picture mode. Which I'm actually a fond of, I prefer the UI. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Walk softly and carry a big gun. By your command, my lord. Right. Come on, these things are always that slow. Jesus, there we go. Evening, anyone? Nobody? I'm not buying that. So we're going that way. Now. Nah, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll wrap up all the side stuff. Now apparently, um by going New Game Plus, we actually should have Um some extra logs, but I don't know about that, so I'm gonna look into them. Um, okay, so everything we have, basically, we've got nine nodes, but the only thing... Ah, it's not the force gun, it's the contact beam that we need to upgrade. Ah, I am a moron. You know that already. Yes, so it's the... Let me just make a note of that. Um... Contact B. Second upgrade. Yeah. And we have enough things to completely max it out as well, which is fun. All right, well, let's keep exploring. Oh! What? What was that about?
That seemed like some motherfucking spoopy bullshit to me. Now let's go have a little look at the store. We have so much money, it's not even funny. And we're about to get a whole load more. Good lord. Sell that. Sell that. Definitely going to sell that. Sell these. Right, okay. That's a little bit better. Uh, is it worth purchasing more flamethrower fuel? Probably. Good lord, look at all this. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. So we've got 15 more force energy there. And 15 contact energy. I mean, I don't know what 15 contact energy is. I don't know what the consumption rate on that thing is. But, you know, we have it. Uh, right. So. Let's get some more flame of fuel. I don't think. Let's just buy, like, yeah. I mean, that still leaves us with over 200k in cold, hard cash. So, sure. Alright. Let's go. So, did we seize our Valor, then? Was the Valor seized? Did we do a good job, Mom? Ooh, food. Probably wouldn't want to eat any of this shit, to be honest. Probably get dysentery. In fact, dysentery is probably be the least of your worries, in all fairness. Now. This is a special little area, from what I can remember. Hello. It is. Brrrr. What do you think of that, huh? You like that? You like that? That's what I thought. Get the fuck out of here. So, if you remember earlier in the playthrough, uh, we were looking down from up there, somewhere, and I said that eventually we get down here. And I was referencing this bit. So, we can get a rig... Benson's rig, which I believe now actually we've got all the rigs. Ha! Huh. Well, what I will do then we'll track that objective and we'll do that. Like I say, I don't have to do it because I've already obviously got it, but I just want to show it off. So, what we have to do now is go back to the old, uh, captain's desk. And, uh... Yeah. Get us. Have you got any spikies? You got no spikes? Nothing. I don't know what you're gonna do with that, sir. Are you gonna tickle me to death? Let's grind this motherfucker into the floor. Come to Papa. Hey! Enough of that. Come here, you little shit. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, is that all you got? I hunger for violence. And I am still hungry. Can you say the same? Okay. So let's go build ourselves a key key of unimaginable power. A key that we uh, <clears throat> already already have, but for the sakes of completion, 
I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can. So now we have every single code. We can go back to this terminal here and build the master override key. Generated for Isaac Clark. All access will be locked. So basically that is completely optional but if you don't get it you uh, are really going to be losing out on some serious loot and I believe some of the upgrades so is it worth going and getting all of that stuff uh, yeah absolutely and it's not that bad to get either anyway guys we're out of time there so I'm going to drop a save thank you very much for watching when we come back well apparently we're looking for some kind of shuttle or something and possibly an upgrade to our weapon, which I am now going to search and find out where it is. Uh, and we're looking for the contact beam. Yes, yes. Not the bloody force gun, you bellend. Anyway, till next time, guys.